Hey guys, here's your gaming news for today, Friday, July 25th. You can find the source links in the description below to learn more about each topic. The Last of Us motion picture is happening. During the Screen Gems panel at San Diego Comic-Con, fans were surprised when Sam Raimi and Neil Druckmann took the stage to talk about the film adaptation of The Last of Us. Raimi, the director of The Evil Dead and the original Spider-Man trilogy, is acting as producer on the film, while Naughty Dog's Druckmann is writing the script. The Sims 4 system requirements have been revealed today. Check out the link below for the full detailed list. Crytek addressed the ongoing financial concerns that have been reportedly troubling the company for some time. To quote their representative, Like the games industry as a whole, Crytek has been in a transitional phase. Our revolution from a development studio to an online publisher has required us to refocus our strategies. These challenges go along with an increased demand for capital, which we have secured. Ahead of Gamescom, Sony revealed a list of playable games for the convention and let word slip that Until Dawn, The Unfinished Swan, and Journey are heading to PlayStation 4 in the process. You can find the full list in the link below. BioWare has dropped a new teaser trailer for an unannounced project, promising more will be revealed at Gamescom in August. The trailer suggests the developers working on a game with a strong horror theme. The file name for the YouTube version is called Shadow Realms, leading to speculation that this is the game's actual title. Titanfall's Frontier's Edge DLC will release on PC and Xbox One on July 31st, with the Xbox 360 version coming at a later time that has yet to be specified. The DLC will be available for $10 or as part of the Season Pass, and will include three new maps. And that's our news for today. Join us again on Monday for Games Industry coverage as it unfolds. Good night, everyone.